Hello artists and welcome back to Art with Mrs. Kellogg. This week we're going to learn about abstract art and we are going to have some fun using our imagination and creativity to create unique abstract drawings and paintings. Now meet me over at my workspace because I want to tell you a little bit more about the art lesson and the art supplies you will need. Now let me tell you the art supplies you will need for today's project. You're going to need paper and the size is up to you. If you are going to use paint, make sure that your paper is thick enough to apply paint to. You're also going to need a pencil with an eraser. The other supplies you will need are up to you. I'm going to demonstrate with markers. So you can use markers, but if you just wanted to create an abstract painting, you could use your watercolor set. Make sure you have your paintbrush and cup filled with water and a paper towel if you do that. You could also use colored pencils or oil pastels or crayons. The choice is up to you. And the one thing you don't want to forget is to put your art mat or newspaper down before you start your art project. Now would be a great time for you to pause the video, gather the supplies that you want to use for today's project, and meet me back here and we will get started creating abstract drawings and paintings. In this video, I'm going to show you three ways in how to create an abstract drawing or painting. That means you'll have options. You can choose one way, two ways, or you can create three abstract drawings or paintings. The choice is up to you. Now, let's get started. As I said before, we're going to use our imaginations to create some abstract art. Now, some of you might be wondering, what is abstract art? Abstract art is art that doesn't have to represent anything. So it doesn't have to look just like a photograph. It does not have to look like a picture of anything. Here are some examples of some abstract art. These two paintings were created by Richard Diebenkorn, a famous California artist. And as you can tell, he used the elements of art line, shape, and color. Here are some other examples of abstract art. These paintings were created by a New York artist named Lee Krasner. She was very inspired by plants and nature, and you can see that in her artwork. This is another example of one of her paintings where she was just inspired by shapes. There are a lot of different ways to start and create an abstract painting. I hope these artists and their paintings have given you some great ideas and inspired you to create your own original abstract painting. I'm going to show you a few ways in how you can get started in creating your own original abstract drawing or painting. Now, let's get started. One way to start an abstract drawing is using line and shapes. So think of all the lines you enjoy making and the shapes, and then start overlapping those. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Another good idea is to always turn your paper as you're working. Then once you feel you're finished, look at your paper going in one direction, Turn it again, look at it in another direction. Turn it again, look at it in another direction, and another direction, and then decide, does your picture look balanced to you? And then when you feel you're finished and you'd like to add color, choose the art medium or art tool that you would like to use, and you can start adding color. Another way to start an abstract drawing or painting is through using the element of art line. So what you do is you take your line and you just start drawing your line and creating some shapes. And you can have your line going through the shapes. Just relax. What I try not to do is have too many lines because I want to have some big shapes to add some color. Mm -hmm. 
And then once I feel I'm done, I can start adding some color. So now I have some big shapes to add color into. If you'd like, you can always trace your lines and shapes with marker, and that'll make it easier to add color. As I said before, there's a lot of different ways to start an abstract. You can do it through line and twisting your lines, or you could start overlapping shapes. And another idea is if you don't like curvy shapes, you can always take rectangular or square shapes and start overlapping them and making them touch. And if you like, you can always add some shapes that don't touch into the background of your abstract artwork. Now you know how to start your abstract artwork. There's a lot of different ways, so have fun and use your own creativity. For my abstract art, I'm going to use Lee Krasner's artwork called Milkweed as an inspiration to me. So I'm going to use those leaf shapes as inspiration. And I'm going to think of that design principle contrast using some small shapes, some large shapes. Once I have my shapes down, I want to put a background in. So I'm going to add some more shapes. Once I'm finished designing or planning out my picture, now I'm going to use a black Sharpie marker to trace all my shapes. And I think I'll add some black into some sections. Now I'm very careful to think I want darks next to light. If I make everything dark, for example, if I put that black right next to that blue, that shape's not going to stand out. So I'm always thinking pattern. How can I repeat my shapes? And how can I keep that pattern of a lighter color next to a darker color? Now, after you finish drawing your design, you can decide whether you want to go over your shapes with marker or not. And these are the three ways that you can get started creating your abstract art. Now would be a great time for you to pause the video, draw your abstract piece, and then meet me back here because we'll start having fun adding some color. Did you finish drawing and tracing your abstract drawing? Great, then let's add some color. But before you add some color, there's a few things I want to remind you of. The first thing is the medium choice. That means the art tools you use are up to you. And the colors that you choose are completely up to you. But remember, we want to think about pattern, repeating our colors, and putting those darker colors next to those lighter colors. And if you like this idea, you can use the white of the paper to be your lightest shade or color. And the last thing I want to remind you of is when you're working on an abstract drawing, remember to turn your paper as you work. And then when you're all finished, you can turn it in all different directions and decide which direction you like the best. I'm going to continue to work on my abstract drawing. Now it's your turn. Well, that finishes our lesson on creating an abstract drawing or painting. I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and I want you to remember when you are creating art to relax, have lots of fun, and keep creating.